As always, before caring for your line, thoroughly wash and dry your hands. Gather the supplies you will need. Sterile gloves. Alcohol pad. New end cap. Two masks. Put on your mask. Your assistant needs to don a mask as well. Put on your sterile gloves. Open the end cap package and set aside using the bottom of the package as a tray. Be careful that the cap remains in its package. Wipe the junction of the cap and line with an alcohol wipe. Remove the old cap and set aside. Keep the line facing toward the ceiling at all times. This prevents the possibility of contamination. Never touch the connector or the inside of the cap. Connect the new end cap securely. Affix the tubing to your skin. Make a U-loop with the catheter and tape it securely to the outside of your dressing with the end cap facing upwards. This will secure the tubing to help prevent excess tension on the tube and reduce the risk of dislodgement. Wash your hands. Flushing the catheter is important to maintain the line and prevent blood clotting. As always, before caring for your line, thoroughly wash and dry your hands. Gather the supplies and assemble them in a clean work area. You will need alcohol pad, syringe pre-filled with the solution that was provided to you, clean gloves. Put on clean gloves. Inspect the syringe. Hold the syringe facing upward and remove the cap with gentle pressure. If there are bubbles, flick the syringe to remove as many as possible. Don't worry if a few small bubbles remain. Check that the tube is clamped. Thoroughly clean the tip of the catheter with the alcohol pad and hold on to it to prevent contamination. Insert the tip of the syringe into the catheter. Unclamp the tubing. Gently pull back on the syringe until you see a flash of blood. This ensures that there is no air in the line. Slowly push the plunger of the syringe to inject the solution. There should be no resistance when attempting to instill the solution. If there is resistance, do not force it. Check that the tube is completely unclamped. If it is, discontinue the procedure and call your home care nurse promptly. When the syringe is almost empty, with approximately one milliliter left, reclamp the catheter. Remove the syringe. Dispose of the syringe properly. Never reuse a syringe. Affix the tubing to your skin. Make a U-loop with the catheter and tape it securely to the outside of your dressing with the end cap facing upwards. This will secure the tubing to help prevent excess tension on the tube and reduce the risk of dislodgement. Wash your hands. Remember some common sense precautions to keep your line safe. Keep the dressing clean and dry. Keep the line clamped when not in use. Check the dressing daily to ensure that the dressing is undamaged and in place. Use plastic wrap to cover the line during a shower or bath. Never use pins or scissors near your line. Following these steps is very important in maintaining your line. If you have any questions